So let's say we have something like 26 applications in a benchmark suite. How do we summarize the overall performance of a machine on the entire suite? So we want a single number that represents the performance of the machine. Usually we want to use something like the average execution time. So let's say we have a computer X and a computer Y, a benchmark application A, B and C. And let's say that computer X takes 9 seconds here, 10 seconds here and 5 seconds here. Whereas the computer Y takes 18 seconds here, 7 seconds here and 11 seconds here. The speed up of machine X over machine Y on each of these applications is 2 for application A because X is doing it in half the time as Y, 0 0.7 on application B because X is actually slower than Y there, and here it's 2.2 because X is more than twice as fast as Y. Now let's compute the average execution time. Here we have 9 plus 10 plus 5 over 3 gives us 8 seconds. So on average, computer X finishes one of these three applications in 8 seconds. On average, computer Y finishes one of these three in 18 plus 7 plus 11 over 3, 12 seconds. If we now compute the speed up of X over Y, on average, it will be 1.5 when computed this way. But if we average the speed ups here, we get 1.63. So if we want to use average execution times, we cannot simply average the speed ups on individual applications to get the average speed up. Pretty much the speed up using average execution times is not the same as the average of speed ups on these individual applications. If we want to be able to average speed ups, then we need to use geometric means for both of our application execution times and for our speed ups. In that case, we get a geometric mean of 7.66 here, 11.15 here, and 1.456 here. So we have used the geometric mean for the execution times for each of the computer. If we use the geometric mean for these speed ups, we will get the same value here. The geometric mean is computed by multiplying out, for example, 9 times 10 times 5, and then taking the nth root, in this case third root of the value, to get the geometric mean. And because things are being multiplied out and then the nth root taken, you can see how if we divide these things, we will get that the speed up computed geometric means of execution times will be the same as the mean of the speed ups, because we have third root of 18 times 7 times 11. These two divided is the same as third root of 9 over 18 times 10 over 7 times 5 over 11. So as you can see, this is the geometric mean of execution times. Then we can compute the speed up using them, and that's the same as the geometric mean of individual speed ups. However, this only works for geometric means. We do prefer average execution time when we are computing the average times. However, just you must be careful not to compute individual speed ups and then average them. Instead, you should be computing the average execution times and then computing the speed up using those averages. You should also remember that simple average should not be used on ratios of times. So basically a speed up here is a ratio of two times. We should not be using a simple arithmetic mean on these values because they are ratios. Geometric means on the other hand can be used on ratios, but for this to work we also have to use geometric mean on times too.